Hello class, welcome to Empowerment Technologies. So in this video, we're going to learn how to use some of the statistical functions in Microsoft Excel. So here are some of the functions that we're going to um, learn in this video. So here we have the average function, median function, mode function, count function, count the function, and then concatenate function. So concatenate, concatenate function is not an statistical function. However, we we'll just include it here in our um, in our set of functions to learn for this video. So let us go to our examples. So suppose that before you distribute or before you sell your Starbucks of milk tea, you conducted a pre-taste pre-taste testing to this following um, taste tester so you have conducted you conducted a pre-taste testing to um, some of the students and teachers in your school so you have 15 respondents and then um, here are the following criteria criterias to be rated so you want to know whether the quality the taste presentation and your product passes the taste testers and you want to know whether the taste testers will, is satisfied with your product if they recommend this or you want to know what could be the possible range of prices for your product so here are the result of your um, survey of your taste testing activity and then um, you would like to know the average of this one so the average rate for the quality the taste the presentation and the product you would like to know the the mode so you you would like to measure the the central tendency of your of the result of your survey so to do that we can apply the some of the statistical functions in microsoft excel so here we have the average function the median function and the mode function so of course average is to solve for the average or the mean Median is to know the middlemost value if we arrange um, a series of number from um, lowest to highest value or highest to lowest value. And the mode is the most frequently occurring number. So let's solve for the mean. So using our average function. Suppose we would like to know, um, we would like to know the average of the response of your taste testers in terms of the quality of your Starbucks milkshake. So here we have here the response written from F3 to F17. So this will be our cell reference, the ranges of cell to be referenced. So here let's type our function. So equal sign followed by the function name which is average and then open parenthesis and then select the range of cells for the quality so range of cells for the quality and then close parenthesis and then select enter so now we have here the mean or the average for the response of your taste testers under the criteria of quality so to interpret this you need to use some um, some conventions for interpreting the mean so for the taste test so let's um do the following again so equal sign and then average and then open parenthesis and then select the range of cells to be referent so we have here g3 to g eh, sorry so g3 to g17 and then close parenthesis and then enter so this will automatically solve for the mean of the responses in the referenced cells so for the following for the presentation and product you can use this as your practice um, practice problems so for the median suppose you would like to know the middlemost value that could represent your data so um, you can just type here equal sign and then median and then um, open parenthesis and then select the range of cells for example for quality 
Ayan. Select the range of cells. So, F3 to F17. And then, close parenthesis. And then, press enter. So, that will give you the middlemost value, which is 4. And, do the same to the rest. So, equal sign. And then, median. And then, since this is for the taste, so we select the cells corresponding, the range of cells corresponding to taste. And then, close parenthesis and select enter. So, for the um, for presentation and product, use this as your practice problems. And last is to know to solve for the mode. So, when we say mode, this is the most frequently occurring numbers. For example, you would like to know um, um, the rating, which of um, which of the rating value is most frequently occurring. Did the, did the um, taste testers rate your, did the most, I uh, did most of the taste testers rate your product um, 5 or 4 or 3 or Two or one. So to do that, let's enter equal sign and then followed by the function name which is mode and then open parenthesis and then select the range. So for quality, we would like to highlight F3 to F17 and then close parenthesis and select enter and do this for the following for the rest. For example, for the taste equal sign mode and then open parenthesis select the range of cells and then close parenthesis and then press enter so for the rest use this as your practice problem so let us now go to our next example so for counting um functions so we have here three functions for counting so we have the count function count or count a function and the count blank function so count function is used when we want to count the number of cells that contains numbers so count or count a function is used when we want to count the number of cells that um that are not empty so whether um, it contains number, text, or character. It will count that cell. And count blank, count blank is used when we want to count the number of empty cells in a specified range of cells. So here are the syntax for uh, this function. So for count, we have equal sign, count, and then open and close parentheses. And within are the arguments of values 1, values 2. So this values 1, values 2 are the range of cells you want to include in your counting so the same with count a and count a so the difference here are the functionings so let's have an example so suppose we would like to um, count the cells that contains number in this um, area of our answer sheet of our survey form so to do that we enter here equals and then count and then open parenthesis and then highlight the cell so for example you would like to count how many in this um, area contains a number so close parenthesis and then enter so here our result shows zero because we do not have a cell here that contains a number so for example i entered here um three so I now have one cell that contains a number. So I if I if I enter here another number, for example seven, so I now have two cells that contain numbers, number values. So if I entered here letter A, so this will not be counted because this is not a number value. So this is a text or a letter data. So I can use um, count especially in statistics or uh, in statistics or in um, treating my um, in treating my um, what do we call this result in treating my data statistical data. So for example, I I have here survey. 
So, we have here the result. So, the response to quality. So, suppose I would like to know how many respond to this question. So, suppose um, respondent number 11 forgot to respond to this question. So, I would like to know how many of the respondents respond to this um, item, specific item for quality. So, I can use count. So, equals count. And then open parentheses and then highlight the range of cells where you want to apply the count function and then close parentheses and then enter. So I have here 14 respondents who respond to um, these items to quality. If I if for example um, respondent number eight forgot to respond, then I only have 13 respondents. In if um, respondent number 7 forgot to respond, then 12 respondents because only 12 contains, only 12 cells contains number here. Okay. Okay, so next is counta. So counta, counta is a function that counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. So for example, you would like to apply this in this section. So how many um, how many um, taste testers agree that your product can be sell can be sold? at a price of 16 to 25 pesos so we would like to know how many agree so these are not a uh, number values so these are characters so check marks so how do we count this so we can use count a function or count a function so to do that um just so here for example in this section 16 to 25 so just type here equal sign and then write the function name which is counta and then open parentheses and the range of cells so here we have here the range of cells m3 to m17 close parentheses and enter so we have here eight respondents that agrees that your product can be sold and can be sell at a price of 16 to 25 pesos so let's um, supply also here so for example at a price of 15 and below so equals counter open parentheses and then ayan, l3 to l17 close parentheses and enter so we now have here so for this price for this category here criteria so we have um, two respondents that agrees that your product can be sold at a price of 15 and below okay so next is the count blank function so count blank um, counts the number of empty cells in a specified range of cells so for example here um, for example here for um, some of the respondents forgot to respond in this section so we would like to know how many of the respondents forgot to answer your um, question this question so to do that we can just type here equal sign and then count blank open parentheses and then highlight the range of cells you would like to apply the count blank function and enter so here as you can see we have three respondents who forgot to enter their answers so we, we don't have answer for um respondent number what do we call this for respondent number five respondent number nine and respondent number ten so here, for example, you would like to um, count the number of blank spaces here, blank cells in this um, range of cells so for for 15 pesos and below and for 16 to 25 pesos. So let's add here, enter here our count blank function. So equals count blank, open parentheses, and then highlight the range of cells close parentheses 
and then enter. And then for the next one, equal sign, count blank, open parenthesis, the range of cell to be referenced, and then close parenthesis, and then press enter. So for the rest, you can um, try to, uh, you can use this as your practice problems. So next we have the concatenate function. So when we say concatenate, so, yeah, so concatenate joins several text strings into one text strings. So to do a concatenate, we use the following syntax. So equal sign and then followed by the function name concatenate and then open parenthesis then text one or cell value one and then cell value two. So here for example, um for example Say. So let's remove this one. So for example, in this part, in this specific cell, cell, you would like to enter, you would like to combine the first name and the last name. So instead of typing it manually or copy pasting it, you can just type here, equal sign, concatenate, and then open parenthesis. And then select, for example, first is the first name, and then comma, and then space, and then use, um, what do we call this? Um, quotation mark, and then space, and then quotation mark. So this will signify that, sorry, so let's repeat, so equal sign, and then concatenate, open parenthesis, and then your um, first name, for example, C3, and then comma, and then quotation mark. And then if you want to include space, because uh, if we concatenate, we're going to combine um, um, words from different cell references. So to separate words, we need to include a, a space. So, just to include a space, so write um, quotation mark and then press space bar and then quotation mark and then press um, comma as a separator and then select the last name and close parenthesis and enter. So, now um, the first name and last name can be found in a single cell. So, we have here Nina de la Cruz. And we can do this to the rest of our, what do we call this? We can do this to the rest of our um data here. So for example, we have here equal sign, concatenate, Hyannis. For example, we did not include a space. So this will combine Hyannis Magkamit as a single text, a single word. So let's see what will happen. So as you can see here, we do not have your space. So to include a space, so you need to include here quotation mark, space bar, quotation mark, comma, and then the next text or cell. And that will include now a space bar. And another example, so equal sign, dia, i sorry, so the function name is concatenate. And then the first text is from C5, and then comma, quotation mark, space, quotation mark, and then comma, and then B5, and close parenthesis, and enter. So that is for this um, intermediate function. So in our next video, we're going to learn um, the advanced function. So the if and or function, the count if function, we have the average if, and the VLOOKUP. So this is for the next series of videos. So see you in our next videos.